Stress changes the physiology of our body and mind. In particular, it increases the levels of various hormones, including cortisol and noradrenaline. And these make us temporarily prepared for fight or flight in their extreme form. So they're part of anxiety. If you get too little of this chemical in your brain, you underperform. If you're four o'clock in the morning or, or you're very, very drowsy or you're sick, you can, your brain can, you can be very dull mentally because you don't have enough of this neurotransmitter. Similarly, if you're frantic with stress or worry, you can be, have too much and that both of these levels interfere with the good functioning, the connectivity of the brain. So there's a sweet spot in the middle where stress can push you into, where you have optimal functioning, that we, we need to keep our brains uh, challenged, therefore a little bit stressed, in order to keep the healthy neuro, neurotransmitters going and the, keep using our brains because use it or lose it is a fact.